Hello, welcome at the Music Messe in Frankfurt this year. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit uh, of our new modules we have available and our plans for the near future. We show uh, at this Music Messe uh, a few new modules. For example, we have a new uh, interface available. It's an interface that is used to connect uh, the MIDI world and the USB world to the modular system. It has a MIDI and a USB interface available and generates gate and CV signals that are used uh, to control the VCOs, envelope generators and so on. Um, it will replace the existing uh, old interface A191 because uh, the old version is 15 years old and we decided to make uh, a more modern uh, interface uh, with a better operation and with USB interface and, and so on. This will come very soon, I hope it will be available end of April or in, or in May. And we have another new module, um, it's a new filter, it's a brand new design uh, that uses so-called uh, opto field effect transistors. It's a little bit like Vectros, which are uh, light depending resistors, but instead of the resistor, it's a field effect transistor that is uh, optically controlled. It's, so it sounds a little bit like a Vectro filter, but it's much faster than a Vectro. Vectros are not very fast, so you can with a Vectro not obtain very fast attacks or frequency modulation. But with uh, the Opto FET, you can obtain even very fast attacks and even uh, frequency modulation effects. And what we are working on, which is not yet available, is a polyphonic interface. It will also have a USB interface and MIDI, but it is four voice polyphonic. That means you have four gates. 4 CV1, 2, 3 and so on. It can be used for polyphonic applications or also for multiple monophonic applications. You can control four different channels, monophonic or polyphonic channels. And what we are also working on is uh, a new trigger sequencer. Here you see uh, the prototype of the trigger sequencer. It's, it's very easy to understand. Um, I have to stop it. It just outputs eight trigger signals and the trigger signals can be used to trigger, for example, a sampler, an envelope generator and so on. For example, this is uh, a sampler which is triggered, it's this one, and you can define the positions where the trigger comes out. And the second is a noise signal. This is also noise. So you can very easy program uh, rhythmic sequences, and this can be combined with the existing analog sequencer, the A155, which can be used to generate additional uh, melodic sequences, which are in sync uh, to the to the trigger uh, sequences. Yeah, I think these are. No, I have one more thing. We have available since many years uh, the voltage control resonance filter, which is essentially nothing but three different filters. Many customers ask if it would be possible to have a module that makes each of the three filters available individually. So we will uh, offer probably in May or June a so-called breakout module that makes uh, available each filter individually. We have a separate audio input for each filter and low pass, high pass, band pass and notch output for each filter. So you can use this not only as uh, the resonance filter, which was the main idea, but you can use it as three totally different filters, which are uh, which offer low pass, high pass, band pass and notch filter. So that makes this module much more versatile uh, than it is on Sony. Yeah, I think that's the most important things and welcome for coming. I thank you for coming.